What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex and the current coin market cap. For those of you that are unaware of the current market situation that we're in, which I believe most of you probably are aware of the market, you guys will know that we literally just tumbled down quite a bit the past couple of days with the markets down pretty much double digits all over. This is that volume injection that we were looking for that we've been tracking on the past couple of videos and basically how to actually manage making a profit off a massive short like this. For those of you that didn't take advantage of this, well, we will learn in today's episode how we can for the next couple of runs because there is one coming very soon. And for those of you that did take advantage of this, um, some of you guys on my Patreon did, I know that for sure. Huge shout out to you guys for actually being able to learn how to make money off of shorting a market. Huge kudos to you guys. Otherwise, we will be discussing the recent drop what uh, we have planned, where we could be going in the near future, and are we looking for a correction now to the upside? Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and remember to follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. This way you guys can get hit with all the latest updates, tweets, and just pretty much have fun in the crypto space. Otherwise, let's jump into today's episode. So where did we leave off? Well, um, yesterday we put out a video that did extremely well, uh, basically discussing why we are falling in regards to the Bitcoin XRP and pretty much the entire coin market cap. You guys know that we did see a massive correction. This was planned. This is what we are anticipating for days on days on days. You can see the past couple of videos we were discussing that a break in this change was definitely going to happen. A break in the sideways movement, the zero volume that we were having. It was definitely due for a massive run and I was discussing a massive volume is coming to the market and as you guys can see that is exactly what happened and now we are dipping down so i do i would like to discuss in today's video exactly what uh, how we can take advantage of this uh where we plan on going it, are we due to correct upwards very soon and then for those of you that uh actually watched this morning's video i did put out a poll a couple of days ago in reference to the correct uh in reference to me actually getting involved in a retirement fund if that's of interest to you definitely make sure to check that video out right here um, otherwise, let's jump into the technical analysis. So um, as you guys know, on the current coin market cap, everything is down um, substantially. As you guys can see, the reason being is we were hitting sideways movement every single time. I've been in this space for over two years now in regards to cryptocurrency. And you kind of notice some patterns. I know some of them are textbook. Others, you kind of just have to learn as you've been trending and following through within the market. And one of the biggest keynotes that I've discussed and figured out on the channel and within cryptocurrency is every single time, practically every single time, we see sideways movement with little volume, it always ends in a big burst of volume. Now, we do have to figure out whether or not that volume is going to be bearish or whether or not that volume is going to be bullish. As you can see today's video, it was bearish, this break was bearish, and this is huge opportunities to make money. Now, if you asked me a year ago whether or not we could profit off of this, I'd probably say no, uh, that it was harder to make. We usually anticipate a bull run to the upside. That's where you were able to make money off of in crypto space. But now that we've learned the key to shorting a market. This is massive profit to be made. And that is why I am so hyped within cryptocurrency and the technological technological advances that have come to the market. So as you guys know, usually on a bull run or some sort of volume like this, we wait to see a correction above our resistance. And then it's usually a bull run to the upside. We buy in on like Coinbase Pro and then we sell off when we get to the top and we can make a somewhat small amount of profit, but it's usually trading with a ma uh, massive amount of margin. I used to trade around with seven or $8,000 to make like two or 300 bucks, but I've learned now with margin and leverage trading, you can actually use 10 times less than that. Trade around with $700 and make the same exact profit you would as if you were trading around with seven or eight thousand dollars now that is a huge opportunity that has presented itself in today's market now, in reference to where we've been going to, obviously, to scroll back to where we've been going, we discussed that after seeing sideways trading like this with zero volume, and this was over a period of about, I would say, 11 days. Now, we can go 10 days. This was a 10 days sideways trade. This was due to break with massive volume. You can literally watch my videos from last week, videos from four days ago. All of my videos have stated that we were due for a major, major, major 
increase surplus in volume. That is exactly what we're seeing now. Now, obviously, I'm no fortune teller. I'm no uh, crystal ball analyst where I can figure out exactly which way we will break. But what I can offer you is when we will break and how we can profit off of either trades. What we do in reference to moves like this is we set up positions where regardless of which way it breaks, we're guaranteeing ourselves profit. And that is something that is a learned uh, trait. It is something that is a learned skill. And when you accomplish that and master this, it literally opens doors to making a an, incredible amount of money. So specifically for those of you that don't know, I do have a Patreon set up. I know I've gotten a ton of comments in regards to when am I buying? When am I selling? Things like that. Well, I did create a you know, a platform where we can answer those questions. And I have, I believe, over 45 people now signing up for the Patreon that I do offer. It is linked in the description. Basically, you guys can get, and huge shout out to everybody signing up. It is filled and jam-packed with information. Basically, if you guys are interested in learning my trades, when I'm buying, when I'm selling, how much I'm leverage trading, how much I'm shorting, those are all answered in specifically Patreon. So I highly recommend you take advantage of that if you're learning how to make money on this. It's for beginners, it's for novice, it's for professionals, whoever, whatever you wanna call yourself, this is a great way for you guys to learn exactly how I'm trading. So moving on from that, we do know that this break happened. We do know that we had a conservative approach to anticipate a close order short to $51. We discussed in yesterday's video, if we were able to break above $63 on Litecoin, there's a very high chance we'd be breaking bullish and shooting up to 72. So what we did was we opened a limit order at around 60... Four dollars. If we broke above sixty-four dollars, the limit order would fill, and we would make money selling off conservatively at seventy-two. I'm a very conservative trader. I sell off and take my profits, and I run because I always know there's another move coming. So we also discussed that if we broke bearish and fell below around the fifty-eight to fifty. $7 support that we had, there was a very good chance we would flip bearish. So what we did was we also had a limit order open to fill if we broke below $58 and we would short this all the way down to about 47. Now I don't specifically short Litecoin, but I do short Bitcoin and I know that they've been in sync with each other for an extremely long time. So I had referenced and figured out that if we did see any of those patterns break, that would ultimately mean that Bitcoin was going to do the same. So we knew that if Bitcoin was able to close above 91.65, there's a good chance we would long this position all the way up to, into the 10,000s. And we also knew that if we broke through our extremely strong high low minimum moving average at 86, we would flip bearish and correct all the way back down with a conservative approach to $8,000. Now, obviously we do have some FUD, fear, un, un, uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the market, which obviously allows us to break below there. Now, I don't think we're gonna hang out below here for long. And I do believe that we are getting ready to flip long and flip bullish in regards to cracking back up. I do believe we'll head way back up to $8,000 very soon. If we reference previous movements on the chart, you can see we've broken below this extreme support. And I'll just reference how strong the support is by zooming out really quick. You can see the clear uptrend right here that this is a very strong weekly uptrend and weekly support on the coin. And there's a very good chance that we will be continuing to use this and not dip below there. Now, a lot of you guys referenced in the comments on yesterday's video that there was a chance he would be breaking below here seeing lower numbers and yeah you're right there's a lot of fud in the market right now but i do believe we will correct uh substantially up to around the 8100 movement and with that being said there are new positions open that I do plan on fulfilling on my Patreon, specifically my trades. And I do plan on doing one very soon, switching long and buying in with a leverage trade to the upside, which I'll discuss in a second. So specifically, you can see in previous months, back in December in 2019, we did break below this uh, support. We broke below it twice, but you can see every single time we broke below it, we ended up going back upside and trending above this support. With that being said, we are now retesting oversold and there's a very good chance that we are going to correct back above here and then eventually head up higher. Now, how do we manage our risk if we do buy in long? Well, that is a very great question. Now with Dudex, the great thing is they've added a new software called Risk Manager. So what we would do is we would end up buying long. You can see this is a great position. So what I would reference is if we can break, I would say, I do believe we're gonna head up to $8,000, probably trend above here. So the current price is 7,700. I'd probably put a long position at $7,800. And what that means is we'll have a limit of 7,800. So I put in a limit price of 7,800. This will fill when the price reaches that level and switches 
is long. And then in reference to our leverage, we have it 10 times. Uh, we're not doing a market because that will instantly fill. And then we can set up a stop loss position. So if we look at the current price of Bitcoin, we know that there's a chance we could head lower. We can see that we did dip below here. We can then take the percentage drop which is about, and we'll just calculate this right now, a price range of about a seven, an eight percent drop, and then we correct it upwards. We don't want this to fill on us by accident and then it explode bullish. What we can do is set up a, a, a position right here of about 8%. And we can consider the lowest point it going is about 73.69. So we then could consider a 73.50 would be the price of a stop loss just in case we break lower. This will minimize our loss. So we can go to 73.50, which would be right here. That's about a 57% drop. We can honestly short that a little smaller. I mean, it is still pretty low and I don't think it's going to matter that much, honestly, but around 7350 is where I would honestly set my position right there. Uh, 7350 would be that stop loss in case we fell too low. And then it's that simple. We can then take our price. Uh, we don't want to do take profit. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing a stop loss for right now. We, have, we can set a price right here at 7350. Uh, we can do this honestly exactly at 7350. It will fill at 7350 and you know cut our loss if we drop too low. I doubt we're going to head that low though. And we could honestly set it up a little bit higher because as you can see within Bitcoin, it looks like we did have that one candle that lowered us. And again, that one candle that lowered us. So this might be the bottom for this coin. And then there's a very good chance we're going to switch long and head up higher. So we could honestly lower that maybe to 70 $500, that might be a safer bet. So we could easily just change this to 7,500, cutting our losses just a little bit lower, um, still giving us a support, about a 40% loss, still very low in regards to the amount of profit we could make if we switch long. Um, and yeah, it's as simple as clicking place order. That's one of the positions that I do plan on opening up. You can see that there's a very good chance basing this off prior history that this is probably the lowest it's going to go and if we set up a stop loss and we do head lower there's a good chance that we will cut our losses and minimize the amount of risk that's involved in this trade you can then see off ethereum and the other cryptocurrencies uh, that it looks like we've bottomed out and that's another great reference that we could apply to trading bitcoin and buying in long now you can honestly buy any of these coins um specifically bitcoin because that's the only one offered on dudex dudex is linked in the description down below if you wanted to take advantage of it you can see on Ethereum, after a massive correction to the downside, this was a price range drop of about 25%. We saw a 25% drop. This is massive. There's a very, very, very minimal small chance we're going to correct below the high-low MMA at this red band and continue to head lower. I'd be extremely shocked if we fell all the way down to $123. There's a very good chance we'll bounce off of this and head up higher, probably retesting 225. And with this, you can see retesting strong support. There's a good chance that Bitcoin is going to follow pursuit and honestly correct back up higher. After seeing double digits red zones, there's a very good chance we'll be switching bullish buying the dip is you know a factor here at play and there's a good chance that we did honestly hit the bottom that same thing goes with xrp xrp looks to be hitting its support we have a very strong support at 20 cents you can see it also faced a very strong drop of about 20 percent also and there's a very good chance this is going to be the bottom at stake you can see where this support has been retested in the past and there's a very good chance that we are going to correct now back up here and like the ripple effect bounce off the bottom as we're hitting the um, oversold area and there's a good chance we're going to correct up to the upside so with that being said i am opening a bullish position i'm switching long right now to capitalize off a small profit as i said i am a conservative trader we made a shit ton of money correcting this and shorting this drop and now we're going to profit off the bottom and switch long as we correct back to the upside but that is going to wrap up the video for today if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up remember to follow me on twitter at crypto the official and i will see you in tomorrow's episode peace